Hey everybody, Chris here with Funny Little Honey Farm, and it is ridiculously cold on a March day uh, in 2019. Um, the beehives are over my shoulder, over there. Uh, we're going to go down there and we're going to take a look at the hives. We're not going to disturb the bees in any way because it's 29 degrees. Uh, it was nice and warm last week and the bees were out flying actually. So they broke cluster, but now they're going to have to, they, they had to cluster back up. And it's so cold that I do not want to mess with that cluster at all. Uh, but uh, we're going to go down, we're going to check the entrance, make sure it's okay, and, um, you know, just see if we see any activity. But one of the things I wanted to do, uh, because that hive has uh, multicolored boxes on it, if you can see it from down there, it's got some burgundy and it's got some uh, gold and it's got some white. Now, that was a key. What I just told you right there is the why I use the certain colors that I use for my hives and my uh, logo. So, if you pick that up, good for you. Awesome. HTTR. Um, yeah, so we're going to go down there. We're going to check it out. I want to see what the uh, temperature variance is just by painting the box a different color, you know, and having the sunshine on it because it's a super cold day. I wonder if it's helping the bees. Uh, I'm not going to get inside and check the temperature inside. Uh, that's maybe something I'll do next year. I might add some sensors and monitors inside the hive just to see if that has an effect. I believe it will. Uh, and I'm kind of that geek that'll do that. Okay, here we go. This will be a good test for the uh, dead cat too, on the microphone. Um, so yeah, we got the burgundy hive out here and we actually have a yellow box on it. So I'm just gonna check out in the sun shining on the box. Kind of, you know, where's the sun? The sun's over this way. So we'll get it shining more from this direction. So we'll get a uh, measurement on this side of the box and we'll just go down and we'll see what it is, right? So we'll check with the top of the box. Right, and we'll see. What do we got there? Oh, it's very cold, man. But relatively, we're getting up there. 47. Now, what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to go down to that yellow box. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Is it going to stay the same? Is it going to do anything? We'll see. We're on the yellow box now. Temperature dropped. Let's go back up. Up. Oh, where are we at? The laser's not working on the micro or on the uh, thermometer, but and there's a glare on my screen because I have the sun over my shoulder. But I want a good test because as we scroll down, now let's see if I go down to the next box if it goes warm. Yeah, it does. So at least the outside of the box is warm. The inside of the box. Yeah. So there you have it. 